The U.S. Treasury Department's semi-annual currency report is out, and South Korea was deemed not to be a currency manipulator. But it stayed on Washington's monitoring list with a handful of other countries. Kim mo has more. In its report released on Tuesday, the U.S. Treasury said no major trading partner is manipulating its currency to gain an advantage in trade this year. The Treasury said it did not alter its three major thresholds for identifying currency manipulation put in place last year by the Obama administration. The three being a bilateral trade surplus with the United States of $20 billion or more, a global current account surplus of at least 3 percent of GDP, and persistent foreign exchange purchases equal to 2 percent of GDP over 12 months. If a country meets all three of these criteria, it would be labeled a manipulating country. But if it only meets two of these conditions, they go on the monitoring list. South Korea was on the U.S. Treasury's monitoring list in April, mostly for posting a significant bilateral trade surplus with the United States and other factors. As well as South Korea, China, Japan, Germany and Switzerland remain on the latest list, but Taiwan was removed. Among those countries, much attention was paid to China, as President Trump repeatedly pledged during last year's presidential campaign that he would include Beijing on the list of manipulators. The Treasury said it's concerned about China's unusually large bilateral trade surplus with the U.S. and its policies that limit market access for imported goods and services. Analysts say they expect President Trump not to take a hard line on China regarding the currency issue, as Washington seeks to cooperate with Beijing to solve the North Korea nuclear issue. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.